As part of this, as you would expect with any sponsored video, we will have codes to give directly to people in the comments. We'll reply to you, as I say, directly and give a couple of these away. Lovely. Today we're going to look at a huge number of sales from a publisher on the eShop, that's Cubic Games. They have their Creepy Deals sale in order of Halloween, which is next week as you're watching this video. They've reduced a number of their games to crazy low prices if you own some of their previous games. They'll be listed on the screen right now, one of which is free to download, by the way. That applies to the US or North American regions, whereas Europe doesn't have that particular deal, but they do have a sale of their own with prices being brought down to a very reasonable level. Full details can be found on cubicgames.com forward slash Halloween. Which games are on sale? Well, let's find out. Okay, before we begin, let's just have a look at a couple of uh, games that are coming up as well that also launch with this same deal. So Candivity then offers a blend of strategy and arcade gameplay with players combining suites to unlock powerful abilities and facing a variety of different challenges across different dynamic maps. It features a whimsical candy themed aesthetic and it is designed for all ages obviously. There are online leaderboards, it's got co-op as well and you can customize your character. That one goes all the way down to 19 cents in the US with this promotion and it releases on November the 8th. The other new release is a game called Mars Survivor, which launches on November the 1st, and you take control of the character after an asteroid has basically destroyed their ship, and you're trying to survive on, uh, guess where, Glenn? I'm gonna go for Mars. <laughs> Correct. Good one. <laughs> You'll have to set out on various expeditions to gather up information, resources, and fend off the alien inhabitants, with the goal of eventually fighting back. As I say, not a huge amount of information about that one, but it launches in early November on the 1st. You can pre-order both of those games and they do have the same rules that I mentioned earlier apply to them in that if you own one of the games stated, again, one of which is a free download, you can then get these new games pre-ordered for the low prices you saw just now. That theme continues on into some of their existing games that are on sale for North America and for other regions such as Europe. These are just on a standard sale price anyway. The first of those is Whole I.O. Now this is a game that my little boy plays on his iPad. He loves this game actually and I'll be honest it's one of those games where I kind of look over his shoulder as he's playing and I end up saying oh let's have a go then and uh, see if I can do better than him. And the idea is basically that you need to eat everything and anything that you can see on screen with your hole then growing larger <laughs> and you need to eat up the other competitors and, and be the, the biggest hole by the end, something I'm accused of quite often. <laughs> but this is a good, fun little game actually. And again, for these prices, 49 cents, 89p, 99 European cents, you get the idea. Yeah, worth picking up. Then you've got Dex, which we have mentioned a few times. It's a fully open world adventure game, but with that 2D side perspective, uses a nice pixel art style. It gives you a real range of choices in terms of how you deal and handle any situation. And for 49 cents, uh, yeah, that's a, a no brainer really. A really good game, good soundtrack, and everything I believe is uh, fully voice acted as well. You've got Real Boxing 2 next, which is one where you uh have to go from being a lowly contender to the world champion, taking on a number of crazy characters as you go along, one of which I seem to remember is Father Christmas. Uh, it would have been nice if they'd have added some sort of Halloween themed DLC for that, wouldn't it? You could fight fought Jack Skellington or someone. It really would have been. You don't fight Father Christmas, man. You're going on the naughty list if you fight him, aren't you? Only if you win. Ah, <laughs> so you have to let him win. Throw the fight and you'll be fine. You get your present. Ah, oh, there you go, <laughs> calculate. You've got Akane, which is still one of our favourite little arcade games on Switch. You control a katana wielding, I don't even know what you'd call her. What would you call her? Like an assassin, I guess. Yeah. That sort yeah. of thing. She's got a pistol in one hand that's twin stick. You just have to fight off enemies. It's like one hit kill, building up your bar and then clearing the whole screen. Great soundtrack, that one, actually. It's worth it just for the soundtrack alone. You've also got Paper IO 2, which is similar to Whole IO to a degree. This time you're having to draw lines on a piece of paper and kind of mark those pieces as yours. If someone touches the line you are drawing before you get back and connect it, then you'll lose a life or you'll be out. It's just again one of those fun, quite addictive little games that you can pick up and play for anywhere between five minutes and an hour. And again, for this cheap price, worth picking up. 
Helix jump is, as the title suggests, a uh, helix and you're jumping. You're trying to get down to the bottom, right. trying to make your way through without getting hit. Very uh, like pick up and play style game. What I would class as a loading game between when you're choosing the bigger title you want to finish. Yeah, we played this one on a stream, I seem to remember, and actually it was, it was a lot of fun as you try to fall through the gaps and your reflexes have to be quick so that you avoid obstacles and turn the, like a cylinder that you're, you're based on to try and avoid obstacles and get through each of the gaps. Decent little game to be fair. Then we've got Bit Trip Collection. Now this is only on sale in the North American regions. Unfortunately, because this is probably my favorite on here, and this is, as the title would imply, a collection of the Bit Trip games. Probably the most famous of these being Bit Trip Runner. These are a number of reflex or timing-based games set heavily to music, where the rhythm of the music, the beat of the music, kind of guides you along. They're fantastic fun. Uh, I've, I've played these a number of times over the years, going all the way back to the Wii, 3DS. Great games, and for 99 cents in the US, as long as you own one of the games already mentioned. As, as we said, yeah, this is uh, that's an absolute bargain. You wanted to say Jeanne, didn't you? No, I did not. Okay. <laughs> U-Boat Attack puts you in control of the U-Boat attacking. Nice, you didn't see that coming, Nice did you? succinct titles, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they really are. They Do really they say on a tin. They are. They're Ron Seal games, aren't they? <laughs> they are, yeah. yeah. No, it actually looks quite nice, this one, visually. Um, if you've got someone in the family that likes this, um, I don't know, this setting, I guess, like my son does, mm. you can just stick them on here and they'll spend hours and hours just targeting enemies, often missing them. Yeah. But just, just the experience of controlling that boat, they absolutely loved it. And uh, yeah, that one's the same, 49 cents. Then we've got Buffet Boss, which is a time management game. Think Dino Dash, that sort of thing. You need to make a number of different dishes and serve drinks, keeping guests happy, get them out the door quick so you can get another lot in. That's important. Train your staff up, expand your restaurant, etc., etc. Do you know this has, well, not necessarily this game, but mm -hmm. anything food based has, I reckon, the hardest word to pronounce in the world. Well, what word's that? Uh, if you're doing it at speed, I mean. Okay. Culinary. Culinary. Yeah, but if you're saying it quick, you know, right. if you were reading a blurb and you were talking about the culinary... The culinary cuisine. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. The quick culinary cuisine. Yeah, it's a tongue twister. The quick colourful culinary cuisine. Oh, shut up. <laughs> giving it large. But yeah, that, they, those games can be quite addictive. Uh, I've just seen that on there you can hire staff and things like that. Ironically, you can hire a money collector for 135k. <laughs> it's counterintuitive, isn't it? It really is, collecting your money. <laughs> The penultimate one is Hide and Seek, and it's another one of those titles where the uh, well, the name kind of gives away the gameplay there. <laughs> you and up to three friends have to hide and run away from the Seekers, find and capture all the hiders, and use power-ups to gain an advantage. It's a classic party game, and then you spend the currency you earn buying a, a variety of ludicrous looking outfits. <laughs> That's what you do at the weekend anyway, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Turns up as a Cooper Trooper. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> My new outfit. It's good. <laughs> nice, I like it. And finally then, in the spirit of Halloween, you've got Eyes, the horror game, where you'll be discovering the secrets of an abandoned homestead, trying to survive in a haunted hospital and walk in the corridors of a possessed school. You'll need to use your map and your eye to survive, collecting hidden notes as you go. There's an endless mode that you can take part in, and also a Halloween mode, appropriate for this time of year, where you'll be catching pumpkins to collect extra money. Ideal. There we go. Let us know in the comments which of those uh, tickle your fancy and we will be giving away a few codes. So thanks once again to Cubic for sponsoring us. We really do appreciate it. Yep. Don't forget you can check out the full details of the sale on their website. It'll be on the bottom of the screen, but it's cubicgames.com forward slash Halloween. A quick thank you to our patrons and our channel members for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming.